the Labrador Retriever is universally recognized as one of the most popular dog breeds. Renowned for its intelligence, adaptability, and friendly demeanor. Yet, the journey of this beloved breed, commonly known as the Lab, is a story of resilience, evolution, and an enduring bond with humans. This comprehensive video delves into the fascinating history of the Labrador Retriever, tracing its roots from the rugged coastlines of Newfoundland to its status today as a versatile and cherished companion across the globe. Origins of the Labrador Retriever The tale of the Labrador Retriever is set against the backdrop of the remote and rugged landscapes of northeastern Canada. The province of Newfoundland and Labrador, a region known for its icy waters and harsh weather, is where our story begins. Here, the forefathers of modern Labradors were first recognized not as household pets, but as industrious working dogs valued for their remarkable swimming ability and indefatigable work ethic. St. John's Dog, the ancestor of Labradors. These early ancestors, known as the St. John's Dogs or St. John's Water Dogs, were the result of selective breeding by the settlers and fishermen of Newfoundland from the 16th century onwards. They were developed to help retrieve fishing nets, pull small boats, and fetch anything that fell overboard, including fish and equipment. The St. John's dogs were robust, medium-sized dogs with a dense coat that protected them against the harsh Atlantic chill. Their strong yet compact bodies, combined with their rudder-like tails and webbed feet, made them excellent swimmers even in the most challenging waters. Their hard-working nature and unparalleled retrieving abilities made them indispensable to the fishermen of Newfoundland. The St. John's dogs also exhibited the friendly and intelligent traits that Labradors are so well-loved for today. Their willingness to please and quick learning ability made them highly trainable, and their good-natured temperament endeared them to their human companions. We'll continue exploring the rich history of Labradors in the next section, where we delve into their journey to England and their evolution under the care of British nobility. Evolution and Transportation to England In the early 19th century, the nobility from England visiting Newfoundland became captivated by these hard-working dogs and began to import them back to England. The second Earl of Malmesbury was one of the first to bring these dogs across the Atlantic, and he utilized their exceptional retrieving abilities for hunting waterfowl on his vast estate. The journey of these dogs was a voyage into the unknown. The dogs that had adapted to the harsh weather conditions and rough waters of Newfoundland suddenly found themselves in the genteel hunting grounds of England. Yet. They adapted to their new roles with as much zeal and efficiency as they had shown in their native land. The role of nobility in breeding and promotion. The breed began to evolve under the careful breeding programs managed by English nobility. The second Earl of Malmesbury, the fifth Duke of Buccleuch, and the third Earl of Home took the lead in developing and refining the breed. The second Earl of Malmesbury was particularly struck by these dogs' proficiency in retrieving game from water. Around 1830, he imported several dogs to England for duck hunting on his estate. The 5th Duke of Buckluck and the 3rd Earl of Home were independently developing their lines of these dogs in Scotland. These nobles were responsible for the initial refinement of the breed that would eventually become the Labrador Retriever. They bred these dogs for their retrieving capabilities their temperament, and their resilience in harsh weather conditions. They also played a crucial role in promoting the breed among the English gentry, who soon adopted these dogs as their preferred hunting companions. Near extinction and preservation efforts. By the late 19th century, a combination of onerous dog keeping taxes in Newfoundland and stringent quarantine laws in the UK had brought the St. John's dog population to the brink of extinction in its native land. However, the seeds of their legacy had already been sown in England. Upon inheriting their father's estates, the sixth Duke of Buckluck 
and the 12th Earl of Home continued to nurture and refine the Labrador breed. Their dedication aimed to preserve the dog's distinctive qualities, a keen sense of smell, an even-tempered and amiable nature, and an exceptional ability to retrieve game, both on land and in water. The work of these breed enthusiasts provided a lifeline for the Labrador breed, transforming a small group of imported dogs into the foundational stock of all modern Labradors. Official recognition as a breed. It was only in the late 19th and early 20th centuries that the breed began to be referred to as Labrador or Labrador Retriever. The name Labrador was chosen to distinguish these dogs from the Newfoundland breed and to reflect their origin. In 1903, the breed received official recognition from the Kennel Club in England, a pivotal moment that marked the Labrador's ascent into canine nobility. Despite recognition as a distinct breed, the journey of the Labrador Retriever was not a smooth one. During the two world wars, breeding programs were curtailed due to food shortages and the pressing need to focus resources on the war effort. However, dedicated breeders managed to maintain the breed through these challenging times. World War II and the breed's rising popularity. The Labrador Retriever's popularity, especially in the United States, didn't peak until after World War II. A significant factor was the breed's adaptation to modern waterfowl hunting. Hunters were on the lookout for a dog breed that was not just an efficient retriever on land, but also capable of fetching game from water. Labradors, with their water-resistant double coats and unique, rudder-like otter tails for powerful swimming, were a perfect fit for this role. Rudder-like otter tails for powerful swimming were a perfect fit for this role. Along with their working capabilities, Labradors were, and continue to be, recognized for their outstanding temperament. They are characterized by an outgoing nature and an unwavering eagerness to please, which makes them great companions and family pets. In fact, their positive demeanor and high adaptability make them suitable even for families with young children, ensuring their place in our homes and hearts. Labrador Retrievers in the Modern Era Fast forward to the present day, and the Labrador Retriever has maintained its reign as the most popular dog breed in numerous countries including the United States and the United Kingdom. Labradors are a common sight in many roles, as guide dogs, police and military service dogs, search and rescue dogs, and of course, beloved family pets. Recognized Labrador Retrievers come in three primary coat colors, black, yellow, and chocolate. Regardless of their color, all Labradors exhibit the breed's signature traits, a high level of intelligence, an amicable personality, and a near-obsessive desire to please. This combination makes them extremely trainable, capable of adapting to a wide range of roles beyond just hunting or retrieving. Labradors in various roles. One of the primary reasons for the Labrador Retrievers' enduring popularity is their adaptability. They have been bred for generations to work closely with humans which has resulted in a breed with a high degree of intelligence and a strong desire to please their handlers. This combination makes Labradors perfect for a variety of roles in our modern society. Labradors excel as service dogs due to their trainability, gentleness, and focused work ethic. These traits make them excellent guide dogs for the blind and visually impaired. According to Guide Dogs of America, about 70% of their guide dogs are Labradors. Apart from service roles, Labradors have been employed in search and rescue operations due to their excellent sinning capabilities and endurance. Their keen nose can help locate missing persons in disaster zones, making them a critical part of many emergency response teams. Moreover, Labradors also serve in therapy and emotional support roles. Their friendly disposition and empathetic nature providing comfort and solace to those in need. Their ease in adapting to different environments and situations allows them to work in various settings, 
from hospitals to schools to nursing homes. The temperament and physical attributes of Labradors. Labradors are medium to large sized dogs with males typically weighing between 65 to 80 pounds and females around 55 to 70 pounds. They have a shirt, dense double coat that comes in three colors, black, yellow, and chocolate. This coat is also fairly low maintenance, requiring only weekly brushing to keep it healthy and looking its best. In terms of temperament, Labradors are well known for their friendly and outgoing nature. They are generally good with children and get along well with other animals, which makes them excellent family pets. Despite their large size, they are usually quite gentle and are known for their patience and kindness. Labradors as family pets. While their origins and early history lie in working and service, today, many Labradors lead lives as beloved family pets. Their affable nature and high adaptability make them suitable for families with children of all ages. They are excellent companions for outdoor activities. With a natural love for games, swimming, and any opportunity to retrieve. Yet, they are equally content curling up by your side for a relaxing evening. It's worth noting, however, that Labradors are high-energy dogs, especially during their younger years. They require a fair amount of exercise to keep them healthy and to prevent them from becoming bored or destructive. The legacy and future of Labradors. From their origins as fishermen's companions on the icy waters of Newfoundland, to their current status as one of the most popular dog breeds worldwide, Labradors have proven time and again to be versatile, loyal, and incredibly endearing animals. While they continue to serve in a wide array of roles, from family pets to service dogs to search and rescue animals, one thing remains constant, their unyielding loyalty, joyous spirit, and earnest desire to please. These traits have ensured the Labrador Retriever's place in our hearts and homes, and they are likely to remain one of the most beloved breeds for many years to come. The history of the Labrador Retriever is a testament to the breed's adaptability, resilience, and unwavering service to humans. From the fishing nets of Newfoundland, to the battlefields of world wars, from the homes of English nobility to the living rooms of families around the globe, Labradors have demonstrated time and again their capacity for companionship, work, and above all, their indomitable spirit. So, here's to the Labrador Retriever, a breed that has worked its way up from the fishing boats of Newfoundland to becoming the world's most popular dog, all while never losing sight of its inherent nature, a loyal, loving, and hard-working companion. Whether you're seeking an active sporting companion, a service or therapy dog, or a loving family pet, the Labrador Retriever stands ready to fill that role with eagerness, love, and a yielding loyalty. And as we look towards the future, we can be certain that wherever we go, whatever challenges we face, the Labrador Retriever will be there, ready to lend a helping paw, to comfort, to serve, and most importantly, to love. More resources in description.